Well, ladies and gentlemen, this contest is a catchweight contest and six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions and a knockout will decide the winner. Introducing the corner from Bolton in Lancashire, one of the Royal Brothers tag team, Vic Faulkner. His opponent on my right in the blue corner. From Doncaster, the ever popular Mick McMichael. And your referee for all contests, Mr. David Rees. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you and welcome to the Civic Hall here in Digbeth, right in the heart of Birmingham, for another freestyle professional wrestling. And we start with a catchweight contest this afternoon. Mick McMichael of Doncaster in the black trunks with the stripes down the side there on the left. Incidentally, I see Mick's wearing red boots this afternoon. Very unusual for him. His opponent in a lighter weight bracket, Vic Faulkner. Bolton hardly needs any introduction. Wait champion and of course the brother of Burt Royal and the famous Royals tag team. Vic Faulkner with a fair hair. First time we've seen him on the small screen for a long time but it's nice to see him back because he's one of the greatest uh, exponents of the art of this wrestling in the business today. He and his brother. Mick McMichael from Doncaster has got a tremendous advantage here of, uh, let me see if I can, my mathematics will work for me. He weighs 13 stone 3, Faulkner at 11 7. So there's a stone and a half plus. Stone and 10 pounds, something like that difference. So McMichael should stay to the strength holds quite a bit. The referee in the corner there, Dave Reese from Shrewsbury. But I don't think you'll find you'd have any problems with this bout at all, because neither of these two men the slightest bit inclined to foul in any way or use any foul move. So this is a six five minute round contest. Two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide the winner. Vic Faulkner trying a quick get out like we're so used to from him and Michael holding on to the wrist lever and <laughs> he's still got it he's still got it and that's the sort of wrestling bout we should see for this preliminary contest here this afternoon indeed by McMichael. <laughs> oh, they're used to each other, these two. They're, they're going to enjoy this part. And consequently, everybody else will too. Still the double-handed wrist lever by McMichael. A couple of minutes to go in right one hand and finally fought to turn the right way for him and the wrong way for McMichael. And even a smile on the face of Dave Reese, the referee, like everybody else, enjoys this time. <laughs> McMichael begging you, just please let me have one punch just to get out of this double-handed wrestling. <laughs> uh, yes, that's a way. Now it is still, Mick Faulkner still held on. Despite that semi-airplane spin of McMichael's, throwing the lighter man around on his shoulders, he still, uh, still came back with that 
luckless lever. Now he's trying the double knee hold, but he hasn't got the weight for that as early as round one. <laughs> Just a little under a minute to go in this first round of six, and McMichael for the advantage with double leg lock there. But how long will he have the advantage? <laughs> Just Fortner just checking the uh, map around him, I think, here. Yeah? Yes, I think I'll go over this way in case I go yeah. back again. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> checking the spring. Part of the map, a little springier than another, so Fortner changes position. And gets out of it very neatly indeed. So it's Faulkner now with the advantage on a single, a double finger interlock. 15 seconds to go in the first round. Lovely turn, and it's McMichael with the advantage again. Double, like, double arm stretch on the bell of round one. And both men's hands go up in the air. Complete an immediate break without having been, having been told by the referee. Vic Faulkner loves this type of wrestling. He doesn't mind if the man's heavier than his opponent's heavier than himself, as long as he's a good sporting wrestler. And it's great. Vic Faulkner of Bolton, 11 stone 7. Great to see him back, this boy. Second away, round two. Round two, five to go, no score. Faulkner versus McMichael. McMichael of Doncaster. Faulkner of Bolton, and it's McMichael with the darker trunks and the stripes down the side. The heavier of the two by one stone and ten pounds. Side head chancery to McMichael. And this packed to capacity crowd, in fact, more so <laughs> even than that, I think, at the Civic Hall here at Digger in Birmingham. Really enjoying this early rounds of this contest. Catch weight though it may be. No, referee, no. <laughs> oh, they're really enjoying it. It's great to see. No, no, no. Fortin is not going to walk into one of those that easily. Yes, lovely leg trip by Fortin. Typical move. Now for the weakness. Michael being tempted or pretending to be tempted, but I don't think he would actually use that. Trick. Paul Nelson, McMichael. <laughs> Follow up with the butt. Nicely over the top, double leg Nelson, folding press to McMichael. But he's left the arms behind. He's though he hasn't left the arms behind, he's got him. And he's being helped up by the referee as Fortner goes down one fall and two. Lovely move, though. I thought Fortner was going to get out of that, but he congratulates his opponent on winning the first fall. Your master of sermon. And two minutes of the second round, the only fall of the contest goes to the ever popular Mick and Michael. So, when he said the only fall of the contest, I had a nasty feeling it might have been switched to a one-fall contest, but no, it is two falls, and McMichael here is leading by one to nil after round two, but four rounds to go. Second away, round three. Round three, and McMichael leading, remember, McMichael in the black trunks, white stripes down the side, leading Faulkner. One stone, ten pounds, his... Junior in weight by one fall to nil. Now everybody will surely be for Faulkner to see if he can get back into this boat by getting the equalizer as soon as possible. A sort of attempted Boston crab there, which he started off badly, but he made it eventually. But Faulkner still won from him. Double A Nelson again. Faulkner again. Falling press. 
double-eight Nelson to Faulkner, but it's through the ropes. Folding for a snout of McMichael. Double-eight Nelson to Faulkner. And it's beautiful stuff. But both men missing out and in the ropes, finally, as Faulkner gets the advantage. And great applause by all the purest rustling fans who really love to see fast action stuff. And they're seeing it here this afternoon, no question about it. <laughs> Folder up at nine and a half by his judgment. Oh, oops, he walked into that one. Side edge chance for Yes, perfectly legal. A bear hug to McMichael. Still the bear hug on. Well, not this time. Uh, I'm voting a wee bit late with that attack. He was going to do the dive right onto his man, but uh, hesitated for a second. Too late. <laughs> oh, I hope McMichael doesn't land one of those. I can't see him doing it. Swing that arm. <laughs> As if he wants to swing a punch at Faulkner, but I can't really see it. Step over toe hole now to McMichael. <laughs> and laying it on a bit farther. There is the step over toe hole. The, the leg through with the bar, the figure four leg lock with bar, and less than a couple of minutes to go in the third. <laughs> no. Leg spread. <laughs> and ropes, and ropes, he says. He's about a, a mile and a half from any rope there. <laughs> but he still shouts ropes anything to help get out of this one. And leg spread is in. There comes the counter, and it worked. And the whistle goes. <laughs> so the Michael stops. <laughs> Well, I don't know if Faulkner's got a friend in the, in, the, in the crowd here who whistled at the right moment for him, but it certainly worked. McMichael stopped stone dead on that whistle. Less than a minute now to go as McMichael tries uh, for a 2 0 win if he got it. But he doesn't get it. Double in the lock. Crossed head. Beautiful. Beautiful move now. Now. Should have tried to spin out a little too a little earlier than this, I'm afraid. <laughs> a typical Faulkner trick, using the referee to get out of a hold. <laughs> and poor Dave Reese is told to mind his own business, which of course it is his own business, when called over. So head scissors now. Lovely little escape by Faulkner then. Right on the bell of round three. <laughs> Mick McMichael of Doncaster, whose ambition has always been to be to hold a British title in any weight. Well, he's been through the weights, this man. is now in the heavy middle. And he could very easily go up one weight into the light heavy pretty soon. But he's never actually held a title yet. It's such a Second useful away, performer. Halfway through the bout, three rounds to go. And still Mick McMichael up there in the dark trunks with a stripe. 
leading Vic Faulkner by one full minute. Five, two, three, four. Michael trying so hard to get a 2 0 win over Faulkner. There's so much lighter than him, he should be able to do it. But uh, Faulkner's so quick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The pressure points to the side of Faulkner's neck. Faulkner has a way out of that. <laughs> he has. <laughs> Yes, he fainted. <laughs> yes, he fainted for the body and goes for the head. And it is. Full Nelson Faulkner. It's interesting to see whether Michael tries to butt his way out of this or whether he slides down on the canvas. It's Faulkner guiding him over there, I think. The referee can't get away from him. The buck came, and the escape with it. Faulkner waited just long enough to avoid that move, but a little too long to carry catch up with the thing, and it's a folder again, but still spin out. What about this for action? And it's play couldn't stop going over the top this time. Double eight Nelson to Faulkner. Three, he's got it. Agony on the face of Faulkner as he counted with the referee then. But in two minutes, five seconds of round four, Faulkner finally gets his equalizer. And what a beauty it was. In two minutes, five seconds of the fourth round, the equalizing fall goes to Vic Faulkner. And a great, great fall it was, too. All started by a faint move off the ropes, and he didn't time that too well, but he came back so beautifully with that double leg Nelson afterwards. The man who we don't see too much of now nowadays because he's so busy running his uh, pub at the Railway Tavern in Uxton near Chorley, and he very seldom gets onto the small screen. But it's nice to see him back. One fall each, two to go. Seconds away, round five. Round five. Single leg Boston to Vic Faulkner. Uh, having caught up one for each, he's got two rounds to see if he can beat the, the man that's so much heavier than he is. Giving away one stone, ten pounds, even for a man as fast and experienced as Vic Faulkner. Pretty tricky. Nice headbutt to the head. But it didn't land quite right for the, the instigator of the butt. Very sorry to see Faulkner miss with those. It's the second time McMichael's taken one of those. Yes, he says, You can't while I stay down here for a bit. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the double body check. Oh, which one came off best there? Faulkner doesn't look so hot. Michael almost up. But Faulkner gets up the last second. Yes, his usual trick. And it's missing completely. And he missed him completely. Came out through the top two ropes and almost dropped it on us at ringside table. Tried to get McMichael unawares, but this time McMichael's waiting for it, almost, but not quite. And it's a folder to Faulkner, and this could be it again to Faulkner. He's got it! How oh, about that finish? And furious with himself, May McMichael, that in just one minute, 50 seconds of round five, Faulkner, the lighter man, wins two to one after a magnificently sporting contest and great to watch. I hope the MC, Brian Crabtree, asks for a special hand for both men here because that really is great wrestling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
The referee points out to me that both wrestlers had their shoulders down by the count of three, so he has decided to call the contest a draw. Oh, they oh, great. Oh, that's even better results. Everybody happy now. Both men had their shoulder blades touching the canvas. He was only counting McMichaels, but the partners were down, so they both agree with the referee, and everybody's happy. A draw, one fall each, is the result. Well, folks, it's funny, I don't know we see anything up like that nowadays. I'm sure you'll agree with me, it's been a great contest. How about it once again? A round of applause.